All right, welcome. This is Nuke Marine presenting Let's Learn Japanese, a course series for the self study Japanese from basic beginnings up to intermittent, hopefully advanced. All right, and this is a Let's Read Japanese. I'm going to try something a little bit different this time around. If you notice, the screen's a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller over there. All right, so up above, it's not the normal video player. It is uh, Netflix. So I'm going to try something. I'm going to be playing off Netflix while doing the Let's Read. Uh, so this is episode six of Keiko and Dekinai Toko. Um, again, this is also the time I'm actually trying to do two reads in a day. As Currently, I've been doing just one a day, but um, we're going to see. A, my, my plan has been to like do two readings early in the day, and then, then I'll do follow that up with some uh, studying, and then after that, just whatever, just watching whatever. Um, but yeah, for the live streams, I like to... I'm going to try experiment, because we do have Netflix, and I think Netflix is a very good resource. You may have to use a VPN or whatnot to access some of the, the full benefit of what Netflix can offer, but... Um, yeah, there's a lot of Japanese material on Netflix, so, and it probably works for other languages as well. Um, so you might have to get a VPN to access that, uh, you know, another country. You know, I'm not going to go into details how to do that because I don't need to do it right now. I live in Japan, but let's say if I wanted to try it for Spanish or Korean or Chinese or something, I might have to then use some of those other methods because, again, you got a really good resource with with what Netflix is um, kind of offered up for the language learning community, even though it's inadvertent on their on their on their part. Um, and who knows, maybe later on they'll, if they ever unscrew this whole problem with the, um, the whole live streaming, with, with, with the whole streaming, um, on the internet. Because currently right now, it used to be Netflix was doing really good, but it was the only streaming service. So they are offering a really good service, and they were approving their service, you know, to get people to come in and whatnot. Then other companies wanted to get a piece of the pie, and so they are going for exclusive. So I was like, hey, we got all this material, we're just only going to stream our exclusive material from our site so you got to get our you got to get our service in order to get our material um i, I could hopefully I, I mean i saw a video that suggested like i would hope in in time they get to where um you can't have exclusives so your streaming service is different you can't be a production company and also offer a streaming service for what you produce so it's got you got to have those different things you can have a you have a streaming service sure but you got to keep it separate from your production service so the production service they got to be willing to say they want you got to understand they're making this to make money, so they should say be wanted to put give this to everyone who wants to go and put it out to, for people to see. Um, it was on the idea back in the time when you had stu studio companies, studios making movies, but then they also had theaters showing the movies, and so you'd only have, you could you need to be able to see all the movies that Hollywood was making. You would need to have like three or four theaters in a town. That was just impossible. That was never going to happen. Um, same thing. Now we're getting to where if you want to see all the material, now you got to instead of having one streaming service, you got to have like multiple streaming services, you mean just to be able to, you know, have access to, to material you want to see. And again, it's going against uh, the, the consumer. And the consumer wants to pay money, wants to pay money to watch stuff. But you shouldn't have to be the consumer, should be then be forced through a monopoly. Because uh, again, the, you know, again, the uh, country wants to protect copyright, which makes sense. But they, the idea of that is to also encourage the production and the more basically access of more entertainment media for the people, not the limitation of it. So anyway, but anyway, whatever's happening, I still think Netflix is doing things right, and they, they did see the right on the wall, they're trying to make their own exclusive stuff, just because they knew they weren't going to be able to, they're making their material because they knew other companies aren't going to be giving them stuff to show. So it, I don't think it was like, oh, they think this was their ultimate goal. They, was like, they just knew like they had to do this as a means of protection. Um, Anyway, here's hoping that sooner or later they say, "Hey, look, if you're a streaming service, if you're if you're a production, whatnot, you you can't just have you can't just say only go to one stream service. You got to be willing to offer it to multiple streaming services on the idea, hey, you want people to spend money to watch what you have to offer. It's not like this this material wasn't being created just to then benefit a improve a streaming service type thing. Um, anyway, here's hoping. <laughs> I wouldn't hold my breath. That's uh, going to be a long time thing. All right, so anyway, this is a back on Japanese thing. So again, this is episode six. I just finished episode five today. And moving on to the last episode, he was um, working over throughout the night, you know, staying up overnight, um, you know, doing work, and then got exhausted, got admitted to the hospital, um, left the hospital early to do more work. Um, of course, the three other people, they like getting together and, you know, just talk or, <laughs> talk or just make fun of, all the weird stuff that um, he happens to do. And uh, yeah, so there it is. All right, so again, this is an experiment. If it doesn't work because of the, um, 
again, because I'm trying to stream something live while I'm trying to also watch a, watch a movie being streamed, watch a TV show being streamed. So we'll see if this works. Okay. Um, okay, here's the script. All right, link to the script. It is on Reddit, so if you want to look at the uh, subtitle script, uh, it's there. If there's any problems, please give me a heads up. All right, so we're going to make it down to 40. Turn the volume of microphone down. Okay, so you shouldn't be able to hear me as much. All right, let's bring it here. All right, let's see if this works. If not, then I'll stop the stream and we'll do it the normal way. Or I have to down, uh, download it first. あの、これこの間からずっと貸し出し中で。はあ、誰か返すの忘れてんじゃないですか。So far so good. あ、今日また別の人借りてみたいですね。いつも通りです。さあ、いいです。いらっしゃいませ。少々お待ちください。<笑> それどういう話すごいですよ古代バビロニアにタイムスリップした女の子がバビロニアバビロニアバビロニア王様に見染められて結婚するんです見染められた見染められたうんバブファーストサイド見染められた結婚するんです王様と結婚か女の子の夢ねお金と地位とルックスの三拍子揃った男の人って三拍子揃ううん 三秒三秒三秒三秒三秒三秒三秒三秒三秒三秒三秒三秒三秒三秒三秒三秒三秒三秒三秒三秒三秒三秒三秒三秒三秒三秒三秒三秒三秒三秒三秒三秒三秒三
1000万って相当多くない普通どれくらいよさあ会社によって違うと思うけど平均年収ってどれくらいなんだろう440万だびっくりしたどうしたの平均440万だってえー、そんなもん現実は厳しいねうんじゃあまた明日平均年収が600万を超えるのは40過ぎてからだ1000万の男と結婚したいなら奥さんに先立たれた50先立先立た先立た先立た,れた,先立た,れた奥さんに先立れた50なんでもそれはそうだね自分男でも探すんだなそうやって人の夢を壊して楽しいですか僕はただデータを提供しただけだよ夏美さんみたいに控えめな条件にした方がいいのかな条件があるのかあの年で桑野さんは結婚相手に求める条件とかあるんですかない<笑>結婚を求めてない聞いた私がバカでしたおやすみなさいそれお見合いえお見合い患者さんに押し付けられちゃってね断るつもりだけど見ていいですか<笑>あれだね、うん、悪くないじゃないですか、うん、どうしてパスなんですかうん30過ぎて何回も転職してるっていうのがね、うん、地に足がついてない感じがしてチーに足がついて、うん、チーに足がついてない感じかね。うん、私とは人生観合わない感じがする。先生はすごくチーに足ついてますもんね。<笑>ありがとう。あんまり褒め言葉に聞こえないけど。じゃあ先生はどういう人がいいんですか？昨日もそれ聞かれたんだけどね。私が答えたのは。常識があって、えー、人の輪を大切にする人例えばこう人が喧嘩してる時にさーっと間に入ってうまーく解決してくれる人とかさあかっこいいそういう人でも意外といないんですよねでしょう輪を乱す人ならいそうだけど乱す輪を乱す、うん、そうだけどじゃあここはピンカロで頼むよピンカロピンカロわかってるよ自分でやるよ<笑>じゃあよろしくお願いします、うん、失礼します何あそこのマンションに住んでるんですがベランダにこれが飛んできましておがくずあおがくずおがくずおがうんどうもすいませんこれから気をつけますそうですかじゃあよろしくお願いしますはいぐらいで、愛のクレーマってのがさあうんあ私はクレーマーですかあいやあのおい謝れ<笑>すいませんでした聞こえると思わなかったんですか<笑>聞こえなければそれでいいんですかいやそういう意味じゃなくて、うん、<笑>どうもすいませんこいつちょっと変なもんで変<笑>はい変ってなんだよだってお作戦紛れて変だろえ大体よピンカだってメントだって関連だろおいおいメントリーピンカだろだとメントリーだって
まだお得意の手抜きか手抜きお前ああ手抜き,抜きまあやお得意の手抜きさ手抜きかちょっとやめなさいやめなさいやめなさいやめなさいやめなさいやめなさいやめなさいやめなさいやめなさいやめなさいやめなさいやめなさいやめまた人のせいにして改めてお詫びに行ってね私たちのお客様はこれからずっとあの家に住むのよごきあらめて改めて改めてお詫びに行ってよお詫び改めてお詫びに行ってね近所で気まずい状態じゃ困るでしょう気まずい状態じゃ分かっていくよあの人八木さんって方お好み焼き屋のチェーンのオーナーさんなんだって、うん、いつも本店にいらっしゃるそうだから今夜菓子折りの一つも持ってお詫びに行ってね<笑>菓子折りうん今夜菓子折りの一つも。分かって行くって言ってんだろじゃあ電話してアポ取って、はい、どうぞこれなんだこれいや外線押さないと通じないですよここ<笑>ほうで検索したら出てきた。検索。検索したら出てきた。昨日横浜で食べたシューマイです。どうかな、この人。あ、微妙。え、金だ。いや、やめといた方がいいってなんでいや、あのワークスってとこ見てみなかったいや、工事中ばっかりだろいや、だから本当は何もやってないと思うよ工事が長引いてるかもしれないじゃない超超引く超引ってるかもしれないじゃないあと女ったらしだよ見るたんびに違う女連れてるしうん金田さんなんだおおびっくりしたいやあのみちるさんですよあの金田のこと聞くからやめとけっつってんですもしもし金田君はなかなかいい男だぞ<笑>えちょっと金はあるしルックスもいいしかも女性に優しいフェロモンムムン実にいいよ、うん、<笑>フェロモンムムン何それうんフェロモンムムン実はいいようんうん、なんてなんか知らないけどすっごいムカつくいやいいんですか俺さ今日吉井邸の現場に行って直接帰るからお前もさ適当に帰っていいぞはいあ八木さんにちゃんと謝ってくださいよ言われなくても行くよもうそんなに嫌ですかごめんなさいって頭下げりゃ済む話じゃないですか人にペコペコ頭下げるの嫌なんだペコペコ頭
なカフェとは多分下げるのは嫌なんですドグリスやそんなことないと思ったのにドグリスたまにはしょうがないっすよだから行くって言ってんだろ行ってんだろいやいや間違えましたあれどうぞどうされましたかなんか胃がキリキリといたんだよキリキリ家がキリキリうん痛いんで胃が胃がキリキリと痛いどうしたんでしょうねどうした多分ストレスじゃないかと桑野さんにもあるんですねストレスまあストレスから来る胃の痛みこの間の検査では特に問題なかったと思うんでこの場合は一度心療内科に行かれた方がいいですね心療内科心療内科内科的うん心療内科にいやこれはすぐに治してほしいんですだったら治療というよりもストレスの元を取り除いた方が早いですよ人生には逃げようのないストレスもあるでしょう私でよければ話だけでも聞きますよいいです、うん、あそうだこの店確かこの近くでしたね道頓堀近いですよ結構美味しいです行くんですかたまにオーナーの八木さんがここに診察に来られたこともあるんで知り合いですかええー、まあ何か<笑>お好み焼きって結構ヘルシーなんですよね知ってますよそれがいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいい自分で焼くのが楽しいんですよねお好きなのは関西風関東風広島風どれですかえさあ I like how there's like three different styles of、uh, konami yaki どれでもあ、はい、広島広島なるほどここは関西風ですねはいどうぞごゆっくり関西風 no. どうもありがとうございます。ありがとうございます
お聞きしますがそれはどういう趣旨でかき混ぜてますか趣旨それはどういう趣旨混ぜていいですか趣旨かき混ぜるのに趣旨があるんですか<笑>お好み焼きの具をかき混ぜるのは適度に空気を含ませるのが目的なんですそれを意識して混ぜてください、うん、はいあ混ぜすぎるとキャベツから水分が出てしまいますからその点十分注意してはい<笑>詳しいんですねお好み焼きのこと常識です<笑>そうですかはい、いいでしょうはい関西風は鉄板の上に厚さ3センチぐらいに伸ばすのが標準なんですまず山盛りにして標準標準そこから伸ばしていく方がいいでしょうはい自信がなくなってきましたお願いしてもいいですかできないなら最初から言ってくださいよすみませんやっぱりな Good restaurant to go to. You know, just make your own <laughs> Japanese pancakes. I'm going to ask Saori-chan about it. What do you think? Eiji-kun is your favorite partner of your dream. Well, I don't have to think about it. It's crazy. Eiji-kun, what do you think? I don't think she's your favorite partner. I don't think she's your favorite partner. ってつけたって感じがした。ビーズ出てるね。え、そんなことないよ。じゃあサオリちゃんのどこが理想なのか言ってごらん。人のデートの乱入して波風立ってるようなことすんなって。乱入。何で乱入して。波風。え、逃げ
you know, and then of course this is Okonomiyaki. And then there's um, Nabe, which is good. So, so, so. マヨネーズ。じゃあどうです。すいません。じゃあどう。よし、来た。よし。どうぞ。いただきます。美味しいように作ってるんです。あ、早坂先生。あ、こんばんは。いらっしゃい。いら。あ、どうも。お知り合いなんですか？え、え、まあ、あのお二人は？あの、この方も私の患者さんです。まあまあそんなにですかね。そうですか。なかなかいい先生でしょ。ええ。あの今日のことなんですけど。まだ何か。ええ。いや。何の話ですか？あ、ちょっとしたトラブルなんですが大したことじゃないんですよ。大したことじ
心理学でいう投影です、まあ、ちなみにこれは常識というよりもうんちくですけどねそうですかじゃあとことん我が道を行ってくださいとことん我が道とことん The end. とことんとことん我が道を行ってくださいうん言われたらそうしますよ<笑>帰りこっちなんで<笑>ごちそうさまでしたお母さんがさ最近毎日のようにうちに来るんだよそううん<笑>同居したいのかな確かに一人じゃ寂しいんだろうけどなどうしたもんだろう,う俺に聞くなお前の母親だろ<笑>とりあえず今度お母さんにどうしたいか聞いてみてくれよあ俺じゃ聞きにくいからいらっしゃいませああそれですかああさっきまでパーティーでさ疲れたよどうもこの年になるとさパーティー行っても自分が楽しむよりみんなを楽しませる方にエネルギー使っちゃうんだよね<笑>大人ですね年相だよ年相年相だねだよ年相だよいつもはい、うん、な今の話頼むな何だっけこれ見るえー、つまんなそう。<笑>やっぱ身を暇だし<笑>うんそうだねうんいらっしゃいませいりません。ポイントカードはありません。はい。九百五十七円になります。千円からお預かりします。And this is also pretty good. In the yeah, this is what you'll deal with at just normal convenience stores, although not how he's acting toward him. But but yeah, 千円からお預かりします。お預かりします。コンビニベント、I guess is what it's called。Or コンビニって、ああ。て、てねえよ。コンビニけいよ。あ、そうだ。あの、ゆうべちゃんと謝り行ってくれました。ああ、行ったよ。えー、マジっすか。<笑>こんにちは。ああ、佐々木さん。ゆうべくわのさ、ちゃんと謝り言ってくれたらしいっすよえそうなのそんなに驚くことかやそう、じゃあご褒美に新しい仕事おんご褒美ご褒美に新しい仕事ねえ、ゆうきしろさんって知ってるでしょえ、誰あの有名なイラストレーターですねそう、うん、あの人の自宅の新築工事の仕事が来たの新,新築工事新築,新築工事の仕事が来たの来たの先方もぜひあなたに依頼したいってすごいじゃないですか
先方も先方相手の意図うん先方もぜひやなと未来未来したいって何そんなすごいの300坪の土地にアトリエも一緒に作ってほしいんだってうえトリエトリエトリエうんスリオトリエもう一緒三百坪矢野人の家作ればマスコミにも注目されるし相当おいしい仕事ですよでね最終的にはあなたに一度会ってから決めたいってことなの今週の日曜を結城さんのマンションで本パーティーがあるらしいんだけど都合どう空いてますよねパーティー気が進まないのは分かるあるけど仕事のためなんだから少しは社交してよ一食浮かすつもりで行くか一食浮かすうんー一食浮かすつもりで気に入らない人がいても喧嘩なんかしないでよ相手かまず映画のうんちく語るのもやめてくださいよあのなそうそう男の人が多いパーティーらしいからできるだけ女性を連れてきてほしいっておっしゃってたわじゃあ沙織も連れてきますかね他の誰かなまだ足りないですか足りないありがとうございます誘っていただいてうんこんなに可愛いお隣さんがいたなんてねい,いえそんな彼女もさここらでいい男が見つかるといいんだけどねまあなあんなのが隣で大変でしょ困ったことがあったら言ってねありがとうございます大体中規模をどう中規模程度を中規模程度なだからやっぱり写真とか Um, that's displaying or exhibition. Teishi? Tenji. 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 Shashin toka no Tenji. Naka tabe wasu ka? No. Nani katamat tensu ka? Katamat tensu ka? Hmm. Nanda kore? Nanda kore? Ah. ゆうきさんの作品ですよ<笑>これは<笑>先生こちらが桑野さんですよくいらっしゃいましたお会いできて嬉しいですどうもゆっくり楽しんでってくださいあはいああ先生の作品ですねええ一番新しい作品ですいかがですか<笑>あなかなか興味深い作品ですね<笑>ありがとうございます<笑>あなたに作っていただく家には私の作品をたくさん飾りたいと思ってるんですあええいや先生おおおうち新築するんですってああこちらの桑野さんに設計してもらおうと思ってるんだどんな家にするんですかまあそれは建築家の人とのコラボレーションだからねええ希望をお聞きして形にさせていただきます希望としてはとにかく派手なのがいいなうちでパーティー開いた時に来た人がみんなびっくりするみたいな生活は排除毎日がお祭り騒ぎ。
すりそういいまあ秋が来ればすぐにリフォームすればいいわけだから<笑>あ向こうにさいいワインがありますよホンですかあはいリフォーム今度僕とデートしない<笑>そんないきなり<笑>ええ<笑>桑野さんって寡黙な方ですねうん寡黙うん、うん、寡黙うん、寡黙うん、寡黙うん、寡黙うん、寡黙うん、寡黙っていうか、口下手ね。口下手。口下手。口下手。<笑>ああ、なんというか、口下手。で。いや。でも、信頼できそうな方だ。新居の件。桑野さんにお願いしようと思います。そうですか。ありがとうございます。じゃ、あごゆっくり。はい。後で、メルアド教えて。メロアドどうしてよーし<笑>、うん、よかったですねありがとう<笑>、うん、<笑>しょうがない<笑>あそうお母さんにこの間の件聞いてくれ頼むよああ、えー、おいらっしゃいどうしたのこんな時間にいやパーティーやって疲れたね疲れたなら早く自分の家へ帰ればいいじゃないの<笑>ねえ、えー、あせっかく来たんだから<笑>ゆっくりしてけよ<笑>なるほどちょうどねみんなでこれから見ようとしたとこなのよ一緒に見るやだよこの子供映画黒沢映画からの引用だな黒沢お、黒沢いいじゃないのそんなことさっき言ったらうるさいの映画に集中できないじゃない親切な教えてやってんだろほらこの頃の映画さ CG と実写の区別はっきりしてる実際の区別。実際の区別はっきりしてるんです。もう。全然わからないな。何て言うんだろう。停止番号。ああ。ああ。これこれ。<笑>じゃあさ、はい、ここスプリットさせるかわっスプリットさせるかわかりましたはい早坂ですうんどうしましたこの間は言い過ぎました、うん、ごめんなさいあいいや聞きましたよ結城四郎さんのお宅を設計するんですってねえ
あなたに常識がないとか言っちゃってプロとして立派に仕事してる人に失礼だったって反省しましたうん夢人と仕事するからってそんなに手のひら返したように言わなくてもいいですよ別にそんなんじゃありません素直に喜べばいいじゃないですかいい仕事が来たんだからまああんまり気の進まない相手なんですけどね、まあ、たまには女子的に振る舞ってみようかと思う振る舞おう振る舞おう振る舞おう振る舞ってみようかと思っただけで。すごいじゃないですかあなたも普通の人になれるかもしれませんよそのご期待に添えるとは思いませんけどね仕事のストレスに負けそうになったらご連絡ください診療内科紹介しますからフフフフフフフフフいらっしゃいませ。どうも。はい。そう。また違う音楽。何する？何しようかな。僕のサイトを見てメールをくれる人はたくさんいるけど、返事を出したのは君だけだ。文章。じゃあ個性があったからね。しいかも<笑>あちょっとトイレ行ってこようかな好きなの選んで俺はいつものはいどうもあったの今日が初めてなんですみちるに謝っていてくださいなんで誰と会うと自由だろう<笑>抜け駆けしてるみたいだし抜けが抜け抜けぬ抜けかけ抜けかけしてるって言うじゃん恨まれる。恨まれる恨まれるかもあ,あ<咳>こんばんはあお仕事忙しそうですねまあ<笑>どうかしました別にでも変化。また結城さんか。うん、あいつと寝るともになったの。寝るとも。うん、あ,あ、寝るとも。あいつと寝るともになった。どうやってるのにしつこくメールしてくるんですよ。しつこく断ってるのにしつこくメールしてくるんですよ何なんだろう何なんだろうそうみちるちゃんにいかにも女たらしって感じだったもんなやっぱり俺この仕事できないわえ、はい、ちょっと急に何言ってんすかできないってどういうことやめるみちるちゃんがすごく傷ついてるとかいうこと彼女のことは関係ない第一そんなことで傷つく年かいやだったらいいじゃないですかそうよあの男の考え方が気に食わないんだいらしても変だし君
気に食わない<笑>あなたとの考えることが気に食わないだイラストも変だしとにかく派手な家作れ作れだ派手な家作れ作れ家を何だと思ってるだってもう工務店とか内装業者とか抑えてるしみんなもう工務店とかうん内装内装業者業者とか抑える抑えてるし大きな仕事が来たって喜んでんのよあなただけの問題じゃないの結城さんとだって契約書交わしたじゃないのよああそうですよ今さら辞めるなんて言って違約金請求されたらどうするんですか違約金違約金請請求違約金請求されたらどうするんですか請求違約金請求されたらどうするんですか払ってやるよ俺が払ってやる<笑>何あ,あのエイジ君に聞いたんですけど私のことで仕事降りたんですって<笑>君のことじゃない私ならいいんですよメールが来たって無視してればいいんですからだから関係ないって言ってんだろもともとあいつの家を建てるのは気が済まなかったんだでも私のことがなければやってたでしょまあ我慢したかもしれないけどなじゃあ我慢してやればいいじゃないですかそんなことでいちいち切れてたらキリがないですよ俺は自分の気持ちに正直でいたいから断っただけだよ変な人変で結構です変で結構です<笑>せっかく人がもうほっとこほっとこよいしょおいで。ほんと困ったやつでどうぞでもどうして私にそんな話をそれがお恥ずかしい話なんですけどあいつもあなたの言うことなら聞くんじゃないかと思って、うん、えだってあなただけ部屋に入れたんでしょ<笑>入れたくて入れたわけじゃないと思いますよそうだとしても一度許した相手にはガードが緩くなるっていうか緩くなるっていうかそういう問題でしょうかそれに八木さんのことであなたにお世話になったんでしょ世話っていうかお願いしますもう工務店とか内装業者とかいろんなとこが関わってきちゃって今工務…工務店ない工務店…工務店とかない内装業者工務店とか内装…内装と…業者とか…内装業者…今さらやめるさらやめると困る人がたくさんいるんですお願いしますお待たせしましたミックスですどうぞごゆっくり
どういうことですかええー、あのこの間桑野さんが焼いてくれたお好み焼きがすごく美味しかったんでこの間はバカにしてませんでしたそんなことないですよわかりました<笑>空気を含ませる感じでかき混ぜるんでしたよねそうですぐらいの厚さに伸ばすと、うん、やっぱりなんか裏がありそうだな裏がありそうだな、ね、何ですか<笑>結城さんって人の仕事の件ですえ予定通りやるわけにはいかないんですかあなたには関係ないでしょう、うん、ありませんよでもあなたがこの仕事を断ると困る人がたくさんいるんでしょここは私に念じてっていうか念じてって念じて念じてここは私に念じてっていうか意味不明だなこの間ここで助けてあげたじゃないですかそうそうですかそういう人ですかまあ確かにあなたに借りがあるかもしれませんでもそれと僕たちがこれはね僕の仕事なんですどうしてそうかたくななんですかポリシーの合わない人の家を作ってもいい仕事ができると思えないからですよ医者は相手のポリシーとは関係なく治療しますけど仕事の種類が違うそうでしょうか私はいつも患者さんと正面から向き合ってますあなただってそうあいにくれ僕が向き合ってるのは家なんです僕はね、ただいい映画作りたいんですこの点だけは妥協できません妥協この点だけは妥協できませんそうですかうんしょうがないですね本当しょうがない人ですあなたはあっああちょっとこれあれあーうーわーこれ俺もうダメだこれやりましまあ食べられないことないですよいやダメですよちょっとお嬢さんちょっとこれ捨ててください。いいじゃないですかこれ。はい。いやダメ。やめなさいって。うん。うん、おはようおはようございます<音声>はいどうもあのゆうべ桑野さんに会いましたはい
どうでしたそれがそのああ俺あの仕事やるからえあの実はやるって言ってますえ今朝になって急にゆきさんに自分の家作りのポリシーぶつけてみるって言い出しやがって自分の家作りのポリシーぶつけてみるって<笑>本当何考えてんだか<笑>どうやら本気みたいです本当にありがとうございましたはあ借りができちゃいましたねあいつをうまく操縦する何か秘訣でもあるんですかいいそれうまく操縦機械を自分の思う通りに動かすこと、うん、操縦そう秘訣秘訣秘訣できる秘訣でもあるんですか教えてほしい<笑>何ブツブツ言ってんだよ打ち合わせしようよはい。ブツブツブツ何ブツブツいてんのだよほらはいそれでは俺は改めて失礼しますさあうんなんでどう王様と結婚したまだですなんかすごいことになってます他の国の王子にさらわれてそれが元で戦争になっちゃってますうん現実は理想通りにはいかないものよね私自分が男の人に求めるものってお金とか地位より私だけを見てくれるってことなんじゃないかなって気がしてきましたうんまあコロコロ変わるんですけど私。私も男性に求めるものがはっきりしたの何ですかその人が何を考えてるかちゃんと理解できること幸せじゃあリメイク版になりますけどよろしいですかえリメイク版借りないんですか妥協したくないんでうんよ<笑> All right, so the audio is back to normal. So that's the, uh, all right, so I, like I said, I don't know how this ended up with the broadcast, so if y'all can mention on the uh, comments or whatnot, hey, did this work out? Because、uh, again, I'm trying to live stream at the same time I'm watching a show on Netflix. I am guessing that makes my, I mean, I've got an okay internet connection, so maybe it won't be so bad, but you know, again, there could be some problems there. And, and again, it was another fun episode. This is an enjoyable episode to watch. I keep thinking, like, hey, wow, I can do this with a lot more TV shows.、Um, it takes a little bit of effort、uh, because to do this part here where I'm you know, able to put the subtitles into Reddit、uh, just so I can be able to more easily you know, read it and then look up, the,、uh, look up the definitions. I could do it on here. I mean, if I showed the subtitles, because this is what, and this is how I'm getting it. I get sub a dub.、Uh, let me show you real quick. Come bring it down here. 
Um, yeah, so with subdub, you got the option of download SRT. That's a um, yeah, sub read file or whatever. And then that's the uh, subtitle file. Uh, you also choose like which subtitles. In this case, there's like a Japanese. In, in this case, it's only in Japanese. And then you can do show, so subs or hide subs. Right now, I had it on hiding the subs. Um, <clears throat> and then there is the subtitles for. Uh, there are the subtitles for Netflix. So in this case, for this show, it's in Japanese. So most likely, because there are no English subs for this or no English audio, that's the reason why you probably won't see it in USA Netflix. They tend to, if there are English subs available, then they will show that on English Netflix. From what I'm noticing. Uh, when it comes to Japanese shows, um, definitely there's Netflix exclusives or originals. They call it, they might call them Netflix originals, but it really just means they got the 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 brought the streaming rights to them. They're the first ones to get the streaming rights for it. From what um, I've been noticing, I could be, and again, I could be wrong. The um, overall, it's uh, yeah, pretty good. Um, I mean, because what I could do if I wanted to, you could play here and then show the subtitles and actually look at the definition. But just it, um, the player messes up, like it, um, it loses focus, and they got to click on the player again to. It, it just kind of a bit more tedious. This was much more fun because you know I could pause and read and you know go back if I did if I missed the line I can actually go back and even further with it and I didn't have to rewind or anything. I felt like um, I was getting a lot more from the show just doing it this way. Now. Again, this is with Japanese shows. If this was an American show with Japanese subs and dubs, it would um, be a lot more off. Like the audio and the subtitles are not, probably most likely, are not going to match. Um, if you've ever seen how Netflix or generally how subs work, um, but I can see myself doing this for other dramas, especially because, like I said, there's GTO, so I enjoyed watching that, so I, I wouldn't mind doing it with that. There's um, a couple of others as well that's kind of fun to watch so it's um, and, and it's not too bad so again just um, play on that get the subtitles so all I have to do is like go to the show download the subtitle files I could also go to yoga's you know yoga MIA's he's got a, all the subtitle files but that may not be updated um, but, but yeah I could do it I can imagine doing that and you know do it for a few other an like probably anime would be a good choice for that uh, I can imagine for uh, something a bit more enjoyable uh, but you know I might just still stick to dramas for right now until I you know it runs out because there are some shows I'm not just gonna watch every show I'm just it's not if it's not interesting I'm not gonna watch it uh, let's see Hana, Hana Chan said uh, Japanese subs and audio seem to match a lot on Netflix other languages are very off though um, well I just meant like I was watching Titans and the the meanings matched up, yeah. So there's no problem. That, but the what is written in a Japanese sub and what is the Japanese audio saying? They're, they're not the same a lot of the time, as in word for word. The meanings are the same. So if you said either, you're getting the same idea. So uh, yeah, and I guess that's also a good reason. <laughs> let's, let's go bring a, a real. Um, let's go step back a bit and mention that. So it's one of the reasons why they say never go from English to Japanese if you're studying. Like here's this word in English. I say in Japanese. Definitely sentences. I mean, but even words like, here's a word. Well, there's probably quite a few words in Japanese that can be said in that word. And you shouldn't be marking yourself wrong because now you're just kind of like, you're being too focused in on just this one word. This is one Japanese word is the only thing that means this, this one thing in English. And that's not never, almost never the case. Um, definitely with sentences. There's like many ways you can say the same sentence and get the same meaning. Uh, you can get one sentence in English and, and say it many different ways in Japanese, and people would agree. Yeah, that's that, the meaning is the um, the same. Um, and so you don't want to be falling to the trap that there is this only you know translation as a one to one. It is an interpretation as a one to one. It's not. And that's why I recommend when you're doing reviews, go from Japanese to comprehension. Now, and it, comprehension can help you is with the English. And it's no, it doesn't have to be one for one. It's just going to be get the rough idea. Uh, so that's why when I'm reading this, I'm not really worried about, you know, hey, how would I say this in English? I'm not trying to translate. I'm just worried, do I comprehend it enough? Like, so ga hazukashi, hazukashi hanashi nan desu kido. Like, that's an embarrassing, like, that's an embarrassing story, but, you know, right? and, or it's like, oh, yeah, that's kind of embarrassing to talk about. Or, you know, how would you say it in English? It doesn't matter. <clears throat> just it, I kind of get the feeling, yeah, it's something related on how it, how it feels, you know, and, and I, I can 
I'm getting the, the hits the mood or the reasoning behind, hey, aim for 2,500 hours. There's aim for 500 hours of reading, so this is my hours of reading. But I've watched the show. I've got, on, I've got the audio of the show on my audio loop, um, so I'll be listening to it. And, but now since I've read it in, in more detail, I never, st I didn't, I don't study it. I'm reading it, and then it's going to get. Um, um, anyway, Snoozy's at. Anyway, Snoozy, I'm not gonna look at my Discord because then people can, because I have to share links. I'm like, and people can see the links. And um, so yeah, you just kind of have to wait on that. But yeah, I did see the message. There's like a, a couple of people messaged me on Discord. I won't. I just can't do it during the live stream. <coughs> the. Uh, Yeah, I, I, again, I can see this one. So I can see if I did this for a couple hours, then studying. And studying counts as there is some immersion in studying because um, there is Japanese involved. And that's why if most of your questions are in Japanese and you're just going for your con comprehension, you don't really have to worry about what the English is saying as long as you kind of remember, hey, this is what it is. You can just do a quick verification, yeah, that's what it is, and, you know, keep going. Um, most of, hopefully most of the words that you come across when you're doing the reviews is this quick. You know, like there's a, here's a sentence, here's a word in Japanese, here's a sentence in Japanese. Okay, good, done. Um, the only thing I do with English is might be the, the kanji. Because I say, okay, here's a key word, here's some other um, words that mean for that kanji. And then here's some Japanese words using that kanji with the kanji blanked out. The, that specific kanji blanked out. Um, what... Yeah, and that's in English, yeah, and then and I'm trying to write it from memory, but from what I'm backing away from is if I hear a word in ink in Japanese, do I try to write it from memory in Japanese? I decided to back away from that. Um, Hana-chan, how many hours of active watching would you recommend? I just said, okay, um, these are just ballparks, and these are not ones I've reached, but it just, it just made sense. Okay, if you want milestones to go for, so it's... Um, 10,000 vocabulary words and milestones are in 2,000 word increments. So you know, uh, N4 at the 2,000 word mark, N3 at the 4,000 word mark, N6 or M, N2 at the 6,000 word mark, N1.5 at the 8,000, N1 at the 10,000. Those are just milestones. Uh, same thing uh, for watching Japanese shows. So the N4 at the 500, watch TV shows at 500 hours at the N4 level, 1,000 hours at the N3. 1,500 hours in two, 2,000 hours in one and a half, 2,500 hours in one. And then for reading, do it in increments of 100 hours. So read for 100 hours for your N4, 200 hours for your N3, 300 hours for your N2, 400 hours for your 1.5, and then 500 hours for your um, N1. All right, and again, and these are, there are people who are passing the N1 test <laughs> that have not even come close to watching that much Japanese, reading that much Japanese. They just did a lot of studying. Um, I'm looking for, okay, hey, look, if you understand 10,000 words and you watched about 2,500 hours of comprehensible Japanese and you've read about 2,500 hours of comprehensible books, even if, like, some of the words you didn't know in it, but, again, as you learn, as you slowly learn words and more what you read and more what you watch becomes more comprehensible, so that's going to happen, and then also you'll find out your comprehension just through watching is, but your reading speed also is going to increase, um, like for me, you know, again, I started about five minutes in, end about five minutes. So it's about, um, again, for a 45-minute episode, came out to about an hour and 10 minutes. So that's about, I, so if I've paused for about 20, 25 minutes of trying to get meaning or understanding what these vocabulary words are and then starting up again, for example. So that's, my reading speed is slower. Cool. Uh, and that's fine. Like I said, it takes me about 20, I can cover about 20 pages of text in an hour's time, roughly, roughly. Um, that's my current reading speed. I'm sure as time goes on, my reading speed will increase. Where now, I'll probably be reading much, much faster than the audio. And it, at that time, I could, maybe, even speed up the audio. There might be that option. Who knows? Um, I don't know if you got the, that option on Netflix. Actually, you don't have that option on Netflix. But um, it's just something It's kind of interesting to think about. And, uh, yeah, just... I'll be honest, I might not even worry about speeding it up. I mean, just again, I'm, part of the thing is with this watching of Japanese. Because uh, this is listening, this is reading and listening. It's more reading, though. Um, if I were just listening to it, I would miss a lot of the material. Even if it had subtitles, um, I would be missing some points or some of the plot. Uh, I, I would still comprehend a lot, but I'd be missing some more, de if it's more of the detailed stuff. Uh, 
like this part where I didn't really realize that he was refusing to deal with this customer and that the it was the they were trying to talk him into that particular customer I knew he had, I knew he was turning down a job I was for I guess I forgot that it was like for that one particular customer um, again I don't I don't know the that just comes but now that you slow it down to us you know to a point where it could be almost a word by word sentence by sentence if need be it just you know you retain you just basically comprehend a lot more and it, again as you study more more you comprehend so it's, it should be fun it just keep doing it you know doing it doing it doing it <laughs> there's a if you did reading for a couple hours a day you could probably reach 500 you, you reach 500 hours in less than a year um, if you watch TV shows for three to four hours a day, again, in a year, two, year, year and a half, you've reached your 2,500 hours. Um, yeah, about a couple years, you've reached 25, uh, you, you reach your 2,500 hours. So it just depends, like, you know, your comparison of your reading to your uh, watching. And again, this is numbers that are pulled out of my ass, okay? <laughs> it just, um, I could be completely wrong. It just feels like, hey, if you give yourself a milestone, if you read for 500 hours, you're you're not doing bad. If you watch TV shows 2,500 hours, you're not doing bad. I mean, that's just it. Um, and I think that's better than someone who, if they would, instead of knowing 10,000 words, they knew 20,000 words, um, compared to someone who knew 10,000 words and the watched that much Japanese and read that much Japanese, I think the one who read and watched along with the 10,000 words probably be at a much stronger Japanese level probably and again I've got no proof other than you know some of the the, the commentary by those that have reached higher levels you know so, got, such as guys who have passed the N1 like at a very good degree but then they say like they couldn't watch a Japanese TV show to say they couldn't even follow along with the Japanese movie like they just couldn't do it or read a Japanese book they couldn't really do that same with, um, whereas you got guys like Matt versus Japan, and he, a big part of him is about reading a lot of, now he doesn't like read books like light novels and stuff, he, he reads more um, historical or more, you know, he, he, what he, he still reads a lot, but it's not like, it's just a, the subject matter is different. Um, let's see, Hanachan, by watching, you mean studying like you're doing or paying attention, not looking up words? I, I, either or. Uh, like I consider this reading because I'm, but I'm more. Oh, what was the term I called it? It was like uh, structured. There we go. Structured reading, structured watching. But let's say I didn't do this. I was just say hey, sitting down reading a book. Yeah, that counts. That counts as reading. If you're just sitting down watching a TV show. That counts. That counts as watching. Um, I just feel like I, what I'm going to be doing in my time is try to do structured reading. <laughs> so. Um, if I didn't look up a single word, if I was just reading along, you know, maybe pausing just to make sure I catch a word or something, but if I was just reading along with audio and I didn't look up a single word, it would still be beneficial. Because I doubt I memorized any of the words I looked up. It just helped me make sure I didn't miss a plot point. Um, but I know enough of the, I, I probably would know enough to where what I didn't quite get, I would still, through context, understand. And it would still count as reading. Um, yeah, what I I guess this is what I'm doing is this a little extra called structured reading or structured viewing, right? where you're just kind of making sure yeah you're you're picking up the points that you're missing. Um, I don't know if that helps or not, but it, you know it's fun. It takes adds a makes it a little bit longer. You are definitely paying a much more attention. You're not you can't really doze off. You can't really um, just let it just play and not pay attention. Uh, you. And may, part of that may just be because I'm live streaming, so, you know, you're, you'll definitely know if I'm doing this. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you definitely know I'm not really reading or even probably paying attention to the show. So, who knows? I, again, I don't know. I'm just guessing here. But the more I'm reading, since the, again, the more I've read, the better I've gotten at the, at the language. And same with the watching and listening. The more I've listened, the better I've gotten at the language, especially when it was comprehensible. And by reading this way to TV shows, now the TV show becomes even more comprehensible. Like the next time I watch it, um, I, I'll be on the, I'll be more prepared for the the parts I didn't understand at first. Okay.
Um, so yeah, so that's it for today. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna be aiming. I'm gonna. My aim is do two of these a day, um, preferably back to back, like closer to each other. Like here, I started um, about four hours ago for one, and then an hour ago for this one. The and probably if I start doing these more, talk less. Definitely talk less, because I'm pretty much gonna constantly be repeating myself. There's really not much other than unless I'm talking about the show itself. Um, which I think is cool. And again, shows like this, because I do live in Japan, so when I see them at, like, go to these restaurants, yeah, okay, I've gone to restaurants like that, yeah, and these are, this is pretty normal, and what he's doing, mind you, I go there as an outsider, so, like, some of the stuff that they mentioned about him, I didn't notice. I would not have noticed, like, if there's anything wrong with what he does, like, going to a yakiniku place by yourself. You know, I, I would never have guessed that would be a bad thing to do, but I guess it just looks weird to go by yourself. Who knows? Um... There are a few things he does, like later on you'll see he'll go to a restaurant and he'll get a big, I think he's already done that, he'll get a big table for himself. And that, that just seems rude, you know. If, if it's just one person, you should go to a, either a two-seat table, you don't go to a six-seat table type thing. Um, or, of course, he goes to a beer garden by himself, which I guess that looks weird. I wouldn't have guessed it, but I guess, okay, yeah, I guess that sort of makes sense. You want to go there as a hangout with friends. Um, who knows? Uh, yeah, I think that's a big thing about Japanese society, or is um, a lot of things you do for social, um, social interaction. You know, not just with, you know, your significant other, but also with your friends and your coworkers, because that's a little different. Because expect to go out with your coworkers. You know, if you work in a business in Japan, like the boss is going to invite you out, and <laughs> apparently that's a not an option type. It's not expected to be an option, even though technically it's an option. Um, then, uh, yeah, no mikai. Uh, you know, how you go out with friends and then what you do. The, the, if you have to, you know, you saw a big part of this was asking forgiveness because you screwed up. And that's a big thing. You're like, hey, look, if you don't apologize, it's going to get escalated. So you apologize. And that just kind of like smooths everything over and done. But, you know, again, it's kind of, so for some people, it's difficult to apologize. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's needed. And, uh, and I've been in that situation because, like, in the military, it's, uh, like, I had one guy, he got, like, super, super drunk and uh, beat up a car. The car didn't belong to him and beat up a motorcycle. The motorcycle didn't belong to him. It was on camera, so they were able to get him. Uh, so he was, came close. I think he was a, was he arrested or not? No, he wasn't arrested, so he came close to that. But they knew it was him. So, again, it had to be fine. But I also had to do the apology. And he, he just couldn't get it through his head that, like, yeah, you had to apologize for this stuff. All right? And, like, the captain or the admiral had to actually go and apologize. You know, it's like saying, these are guys, 06, 07 level people having to go and kneel and bow and say, yeah, sorry for the actions of my, uh, the person who works for me. You know, people, some people from the, um, not in Japan just don't get that that's just, that has to happen here. <coughs> um, so, yeah, apology is a big thing. Um, even if you apologize for something, you, it really wasn't your fault. But, you know, you, you apologize because it helps things move forward. Because until you apologize, things do not move forward. It, it kind of just stopped and uh, whatnot. So, it's, again, it's just something that I like about this show is that you're, you're going to see some aspects of, I like that, you know, you are being revealed some aspects of Japanese society that normally you'll see on shows. You don't realize it is a part of a show because, again, you're, you've got a character who doesn't want to act within the norm of Japanese society. And so they're kind of... <laughs> pointing out why he's uh, acting uh, kind of strange. But he's, in his own way, he's explaining why some of this stuff seems kind of silly to, um, you know, be concerned about such things like that. You know, if you enjoy Naki Yakiniku, why do you have to wait <coughs> just to go to a place to enjoy a good meal, you know? Why do you have to go with somebody else? Type. Um, anyway. Yeah, so if you get a chance, yeah, if, you've got, if you can catch this on Netflix, somehow you've probably got to use a VPN or whatnot. Yeah, check it out. It's a very enjoyable TV show. Um, and uh, there's he, for this actor, he's uh, he's on a couple other TV shows on here. And he's also in a few movies as well. But, um, yeah, like I said, I'll try to keep doing this. And after, I've, and I'll do it half, I'll do it one, half, I'll be rotating. So it's, um, <laughs> yeah, 20% of anime is people apologizing, yeah. <clears throat> but the um, but I'll be doing hopefully back and a little back and forth. So 
TV show, book. TV show, book. And uh, go out there. And right now the book is going to be Harry Potter, but, you know, if that finishes up, then it's going to then be, you know, I'm thinking, okay, there's some anime, so I might, like, Legend of the Sword, Shield Hero or whatever it's called, I might try that with um, the book, since there's an audio book to go with it. And then, uh, and then also the Flying Tire, the... Um, uh, Naoki, Hanzao Naoki, which turned out to be a very popular series in Japan, TV show, um, but it's also a good book, so I want to do the book, read the book, and also Hibana. So I've got a, quite a few shows I'd like to watch that also happen to have audiobook in, um, audiobooks involved. And like we're also saying now, like I said, even if it's, there's no transcript or no audiobook, you know, again, we got the TV show, so, you know, work out with that as well. Cool. All right, thank you all very much for watching. This is Nuke Marine. This was episode six of uh, Kekon Deki Nae Toko. And uh, be back uh, later. Uh, tomorrow for me, but yeah, later. All right, thank you all very much. In fact, let me see. And bye, Hana Chan. Thank you for the, uh, com uh, for the comments. Thanks for watching. And Snoozy, I'll uh, get on Discord and give you the links to the um, uh, JLPT and the JLPT books. All right, or the Anki deck, sorry, not the books. You have the books.